Good morning, folks. Back again with some more information from Genuine Risk. We've already spoken to the boat captain um, and one of the one of the uh, uh, merchant marines who uh, helped run this thing. Now we've got Chris Kasorik on board, uh, who is also with the Merchant Marine Academy. What do you do with uh, with the MMA? Uh, I'm the uh, sailing master, the director of waterfront activities. So we run about a hundred boats, uh, but about a half of the uh, midshipmen at the academy are involved in waterfront. So oh shit. That is pretty cool. What, what kind of uh, what kind of boats do you have for them all? We have everything, uh, kind of a combination of government vessels and donated private vessels. Uh, everything from a 224 foot training ship down to 60 uh, intercollegiate dinghies. Uh, genuine risk, uh, Defiance right here, JV66. This is the old Bellamente, by the way. Bellamente just did the Bermuda race and a uh, quick truck trip to Chicago and uh, did the, this race. And this is not a canter, right? Not a canter. Not a and we have you know, an assortment of smaller offshore boats and some uh, big power boats as well. Tell us about the makeup of the crew for, um, for Defiance here. Uh, Defiance had uh, a group of Kings Pointers, uh, mostly midshipmen. Uh, a couple guys who just came off doing the Far 40 Worlds in Miami. Uh, back to school for a little bit and this is their summer. was uh, the Bermuda race and the Chicago to Mackinac race. With a lot of work in between setting up the masts and the rigs. And the rest of the group is uh, as a sponsor of the boat who uh, you know, we don't have the funds to campaign these boats on our own so we kind of do a combination with a group of guys who wants to do the race on a fast boat and partner up with our midshipmen and it's, it's a great combination everybody gets along and uh, the, the kids are great and it makes for a great combination between the two do you have a lot of uh, a lot of um what would i call them sponsors uh uh, uh that patrons i'd even call them that 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 Look forward to come back and do things with you every yeah, year. Yeah, we have a really good relationship with uh, a pretty good group. We've done the Bermuda race twice in a row with uh, the same sponsor, and uh, we've had some good relationships. Uh, guys have been really pleased with uh, how we put together a program. What other, um, uh, you know, when I look at what you guys do, I sort of think, you know, it would be great for some of the big, um, some of the big uh, 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 shipping lines to to maybe come in and help brand you guys a little bit and, and feed the program a little. Is we've, there any uh, of that? We've worked on that a little bit. Uh, I think a lot of the shipping companies right now are dealing with uh, five dollars a gallon for diesel. <laughs> uh, but we have had them. Um, we've done some sponsorships, some shipping lines on spinnakers and things in the past. And, it's always something we're we're working on. All right. So anybody that wants to uh, anybody any of you guys that own shipping companies that want to help the midshipmen and get some better merchant mariners coming out of the United States, make sure to get in touch with those guys. Um, what do you think? What do you think? What what is the biggest benefit to your middies um, of sailing on boats? I mean, they're not going to sail boats most of them. So well, you know, I, I worked deep sea on uh, big cargo ships for ten years, and you get a third mate junior officer on a ship who gets on on watch and when they first thing they think about is they see raindrops they turn the windshield wipers on i want guys to come out of king's point who have their eyes on the weather have their eyes on the environment and just what's going on around them plus if you can handle a sailboat in a seaway or a high pressure starting line you could put a ship anywhere and it gives you the uh situational awareness that you need to uh, work it on a tanker, cruise ship, or any kind of cargo ship. So it's a great training aid. Plus navigation, plus our sailors, they get, you know, we had five midshipmen on uh, Genuine Risk here sailing with uh, Peter Eisler, James Spithill. I mean, cast of, you know, you can't learn from any anybody better than those guys. So, uh, you know, they kind of come on and as far as the program goes, we call them volunteer coaches for our midshipmen. And uh, it's a good way to learn. Is it Learned is it um is sailing mandatory? Uh, sailing is mandatory. Actually, there's the the new freshmen are there right now, doing a little bit of sailing every day. Uh, not enough, you know. The more I figure in my job, the more I can get guys on the water on any kind of boat, the better off uh, our midshipmen are going to be. Probably better than being in the classroom, huh? And they tend to uh, like learning on uh, these boats better too. Yeah, right on. And so, what's the plan for? I know I know genuine risk is going back to. Uh, Gradually, slowly back to Connecticut. What's the plan for um, uh, Defiance here? Defiance is uh, possibly doing the Harbor Springs uh, IRC Regatta. regatta? Yep, yeah, IRC Championship, and then uh, we'll be going down to Chicago. Uh, be stored for the winter, and uh, we're going to do both Mackinac races next summer. And uh, Genuine Risk, we're going to take around to New York. Uh, nice long delivery. Should be interesting going through the locks under some bridges. Uh, probably stop in Quebec, Halifax, and uh, back to Kings Point. Sounds like a good trip. Well, we hope you'll send us maybe some updates for Anarchy. We'd love to keep tabs on the middies. Sure 
and uh, we think you guys are doing a great job and keep it up man the more people sailing the more people are going to be ready for when the, the, the fuel's all gone and we go back to big all sailing right. ships you know all right <laughs> great well great talking to you all right brother all right congratulations yep thanks bye